Hey Bryce, it's Neandra Conrad, and here is a full website audit video for Peaks and Valleys Roofing. We're going to compare your website versus your main competitor. There are three main things I wanted to cover here today. First is your Google business page. Second is your website content. And third are backlinks. So make sure to stay till the end of this video because I'm going to show you how you can potentially have 70 new clients every month and save over $4,000 on your marketing efforts. So the only thing I ask from you is some feedback. Please let me know if you found is helpful and if you can also let me know if you're interested in knowing more about this opportunity i'd love to help you guys out so let's get to it so when a customer is looking for a service they usually google it right i went ahead and searched up roof repair in eugene oregon because that's where you guys are located and this section right here is what we call the google map pack right and to the left of that are google business profiles or what we call gbp for short now normally Google only shows you the top three businesses in the area, but this one right here is a sponsored ad. So someone actually had to pay to be on the top of this map pack. So we're not going to pay attention to that because I don't want you to pay for any ads. I just want you to focus on organic search, right? Because I feel like that's where um, the most money comes from and you save a lot of money that way. So the reason why you want to optimize your GBP is you want to land on these top three spots on this map pack. This is where most of the traffic and leads go to because when people are looking for a re roof repair service in Eugene, they're not, you're usually not going to expand this more businesses page. They usually just pick from these top three, right? So I'm going to give you some tips on how you can optimize your GBP. So I actually found you guys on the first page around like the 10th spot, which isn't bad. I've definitely seen a lot more businesses on the sixth page. So great job on what you guys are doing. But like I said, you do want to be found on the top three. So I hope these tips help. The first thing you want to add are more photos, right? So you, you want to have a hundred photos on your GBP. I know that sounds like a lot, but honestly, the more photos you have, the better it is not only for Google, but also for your potential clients because they see the quality of work you do, the services you offer. So definitely more, more images um, is a good, good strategy. The second thing you want to do is also add reviews. You want to add reviews on a consistent basis. Um, if you have reviews on outside sources like Yelp or Facebook, definitely import that in your GBP as well. And that's going to help your rankings. The third thing you want to uh, think about is your citations. So citation is just basically your business name, address, and phone number as it appears on your GBP. And you want to take that information and register that on famous citation sites like Yelp and BBB. There's definitely other citation sites there as well, but you do want to have more citations than your main competitor because citations is a huge credibility factor for Google. And the more they see peaks and valleys roofing across the internet, the more that they're going to recommend this business to a customer searching for your service, right? And that's why you want to focus on citations. So I hope those tips helped. And now that you know a little bit about how this map pack works, this is actually where 30% of your business comes from. And that's why you have to focus on this. But the most important part is the section below that, which is called organic search. And this is actually where 70% of your business comes from. And that's why you want to optimize your website, right? So let's review your website and see how we can help, right? So this is your website right now, and I can tell that this is professionally done. So great job on that. I actually like the layout of it as well. Um, but I always tell this to my clients that you can have the best looking website on the entire planet, but if no one can find it, then it's not going to do anything for your business, right? And that's why SEO is so important and that you understand that you need to be ranking your website for the search terms that people are looking for. So the first thing I want to say is your website content. So anything like with text on your website counts as, as website content, um, you do want to have 1500 to 2000 words of content. I know that sounds like a lot, but hear me out. Uh, within that word count, you want to include as much buyer intent keywords. So what is a buyer intent keyword? A buyer intent keyword is just basically what your potential customers are searching for on Google when they're looking for your service. So an example of that is roof repair in Eugene, Oregon, right? That's a buyer intent keyword. Now, there's different ways that people will will say this. They can say roof replacement, Eugene, Oregon, 
roof installation, Eugene, Oregon. Basically, you want to take all those buyer intent keywords, form your content around those keywords and add that to your website. Because now that you're using all those keywords, you're also going to start ranking for those keywords. Because right now with Roof Repair Eugene, you're not popping up on that search result, right? And that's why you want to take advantage of a search term like that. So I hope that made sense and you start implementing that so that you can start ranking higher. Um, I'm going to pull up my web crawler program to show you what's happening on the back end of your website and compare that to your main competitor. So this is what's happening on the back end. This is actually why I reached out to you as well is because you guys are only getting one person to click on your website. Uh, meaning that you guys haven't fully optimized your website. And that is a huge problem for business, right? You want to be found on Google. So in terms of the buyer intent keywords we talked about, you're only utilizing 27 of those highly searched keywords, which is a big problem, um, like I, I've mentioned, because you're not popping up on the search result when people are looking for roof repair. So uh, focus on those keywords. So let's I'm going to show you what your main competitor is doing now. So as you can tell, Evergreen Roofing, who is ranking first for the search term, is actually utilizing 213 of those buyer intent keywords. Again, you guys only have 27 of those, right? So by maximizing all the keywords that people are searching for on Google, they're definitely like maximizing the traffic as well, right? Because people are looking for roof installation, roof replacement in Eugene, and they're ranking for those. And that's why you want to know all these keywords that they're ranking for add your content around those keywords and add that to your website. And that's going to help your organic search rankings. Okay. So the next number I wanted to clarify here is this backlink number right here. Basically a backlink is just a link from a separate website that links back to your website. And typically you do want to have more links than your competitor because it is like a popularity contest as well. The more links you have, the more that, uh, Google sees these websites vouching for your business and that's why you want to have more links. So your main competitor has 134 links and you guys have 25, right? There is a gap there. And when you think about it, Google sees this as like, oh, there's only 25 websites vouching for, uh, for, for your website, which is uh, peaks and valley. So they only see 25 websites vouching for peaks and valley while they see 134 websites vouching for evergreen roofing. And that's why they're going to recommend this business over yours. Right. So I hope that made sense to you. Um, and I hope that you're you're starting to understand like how SEO works all a bit because I just want you to learn something from this and start implementing so that you can start bringing more leads. So I'm going to tie this all together for you then now that you know a little bit about how this works. Let's just say that you implement the things that you learned and you're ranking first on Google. Right. Let's just say peaks and valleys is ranking first on Google. Well, this is the amount of traffic that's coming into your website because this is what's happening to your top competitor. Right. There's over fourteen hundred people clicking on their website versus you guys have one. Right. So, of course, um, not everyone who visits your website will become a client, but you do want that positioning so that there's more eyes on your website. And that's going to increase your chances of landing a client, right? So let's just say 1400 click on your website. Let's say 10% of those of that traffic actually become buyer intent leads, meaning people actually wanting your service. So that's 140 people sending you an inquiry or calling you to ask, oh, how much does a roof repair cost, right? Of course, not every inquiry will become a client. So let's just say, again, half of that inquiry becomes client. That's 70 new clients every month just from literally organic search, right? You don't have to spend anything for ads. You just have to optimize your website. You just have to optimize your GBP, um, implement those strategies well, and you can rank first on Google and potentially have 70 new clients every month. Right. And I don't know what your pricing is. I don't know how much roof repair costs, but I, I can only imagine 70 new clients every month can do for your business. Right. And here's how you can save an extra four thousand dollars for your business. So um, the number below the one point four K shows a value of four point one K. This actually shows you how much they're saving every month just from ranking organically. So they're also saving an extra $4,000 
um, because they don't have to pay for ads really to be found on top of Google. And this is the power of organic search, right? When you're investing, um, I personally would rather invest in a good website on organic search than pay for ads on the daily or the monthly or whatever, right? Because paid search is just a headache. Um, of course, it is a good strategy if you know what you're doing. But the problem is I do see, unfortunately, a lot of these businesses um, place ads or pay for ads without even understanding how it works. And usually it's just a waste of money. Um, so definitely I would focus on organic search for now and making sure that you guys optimize your website first before thinking about paid search. So I really hope this gave you value and I hope that this will start ranking your website better because for me, I really just want to help businesses, right? And this is why I do screencasts for, for even just potential clients. I don't need, I don't even just do this for my clients because I just want to personally want to give value to you. And I hope that you implement the things that you learned today so you can start ranking higher on Google and bring in more leads for your business because leads are what's what makes businesses. <laughs> so um, if you have any questions, then feel free to reach out to me. And in the beginning of this video, I did ask for them some feedback. So please reply and let me know if you found this helpful. And if you want to know next steps for this opportunity, I'd love to help you guys out. So again, my name is Yandra Conrad and thank you so much for watching this video.